What's up YouTube, Unseen here, and I have another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And this is against Lord GSO once again. If you guys didn't give him a sub already, you really should. He's an awesome battler, awesome guy, great channel. But uh, anyway, this is my first Little Cup battle, and this is uh, his second. So yeah, I PM'd him, I was like, let's, you know, try the Little Cup battle. Because I really wanted to try it out, it looked pretty fun. So yeah, this is my first Little Cup team. And, uh, here we go. And, yeah. So, I lead off with my Megusta. That is my, uh, Krogunk, I think it is. I might not really know these names too well, because I don't really care about first evolution guys that much. Really don't pay attention to them. But, uh, yeah, he leads off with his Dino or whatever, Dino. And, uh, obviously, Krogunk is going to use Fake Out, because that's what he does. So, he brings in Ghastly, and that's a really good play. So, I bring in my Spermy. I have no guy, I mean, wow, I have no idea what this guy's real name is, but he looks like Sperm, sort of. So, I just wanted to use him just because of that. He has the worst move pool in all Little Cup, basically. He has uh, four moves, Tackle, Charge Beam, and, like, I don't know, I think uh, two other moves. I don't even care because he sucks. I just wanted to use him because his name was Spermy. So, yeah, I was hoping that maybe he would get minimum damage on the next attack and bring me down to like 1 HP because I did get a uh, special attack boost but that doesn't happen so he takes that sperm me I'm pretty sad because he didn't do anything but I didn't expect him to I just wanted to use him because he's a sperm so yeah I bring out my uh, Abra and his name's Teleport because if you guys remember because I remember this when I used to play Pokemon it first came out and I tried to catch Abra all they would do is teleport away and they would get me so pissed off to like the point that I want to break my Game Boy but, uh, yeah, I sort of hated Abra back then, but he is a monster in Little Cup, let me say. So, I know this is a Scarf because they're really slow, and I was looking at him on Smogin, actually. That was a set for him, so I figured that he'd be Scarf just like the uh, Smogin set. So, I have a Focus Sash because I know Mew, um, wow, why do, I keep, why do I call him Mew? I know Abra can't take any physical attacks, so I've hidden Power Fighting, use that, take him out, I got 1 HP. And... It brings in Haya. This is uh, Nian Fu, I think, and I'm figuring he's going to have priority, so I'll just use Protect, because I know it outspeed him, so I don't know why he'd bring him in. And he has a uh, Fake Out. So now he can't use his Fake Out, and his guy, I guess he doesn't want to switch in anybody, because Mew. Wow, here I go again. His Abra <laughs> is a special attack monster in Little Cup, so yeah, he gets one shotted. He brings in his uh, Pro Gunk. And I know he's probably going to use Fake Out or, uh, what's it called, like, Vacuum Wave. So, yeah, since he didn't use Fake Out, I know he's just going to keep spamming that to try to take me out. So I bring in my Krogunk, Megusta. And he uses that, I go for Fake Out. And we actually have the exact same uh, sets on both of our guys. You'll find out later just how annoying it's going to be. But yeah, so he brings in his uh, Ghastly, and I knew he was going to do that to take the fake out. So I bring in my Kalo, and I'm a birdie, because he's a bird. So he's a uh, Guts with fucking Brave Bird. And this thing is a tank. Like, he has really, really good speed, and then decent attack with Guts. It's really good. So I take out Ghastly, I knew I could do that, because, I mean, he's really bad at taking physical attacks. So he brings his Krogunk back in, and I don't want my birdie to die yet, so I bring in Megusta once again. And he goes for Fake Out on the switch, and I go for Fake Out, just because you want to get as much damage as you can in Little Cup, the points really add up eventually. So, yeah, I go for Sucker Punch, because I know all of his moves are attacking. Oh, sorry. He goes off for Drain Punch, trying to get HP back. It really doesn't do any damage to me. It gives him like one HP back. And he goes for Drain Punch again. And uh, now I go for Drain Punch. And these guys really cannot do anything to each other. So it's going to be pretty stally between these two. 
And yeah, so sorry about that. I try not to have uh, stalls in, so I bring my Magusta back, and I bring in my Just Chillin', because this dude, whose name I can't remember all of a sudden, I don't know why, he just looks so chill. Just look at him. But mine is a dual screen, so I set up the Reflect so I can actually take some shots, and I'm not really worried about Krogunk anymore. So, he goes for Drain Punch, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just do the exact same thing. So I go for Giga Drain. And he actually switches out, knowing that he can't do anything to me. He goes into, I need a belt. His Scrafty, I think it's called. I'm sorry, I'm like mutilating these names, probably. I really don't know them that well. So I go for Giga Drain. And I'm like, dude, okay, whatever. I'll just use Leaf Storm, because... That's what these guys do. He's contrary, of course, because, like, what else would you give him? So, yeah, he goes for Dragon Dance, which I knew he'd do, because I know he'll learn Dragon Dance. And anyone that has that move just wants to abuse it, because it's amazing. So, he goes for another Drain Punch. And it's not enough to take me out, because uh, my Reflect is up. And I also have Eviolite. Light. Like, this guy's pretty bulky. He has 12 in both defenses. 24 HP with Eviolite. Light. And Reflect. You're not going to do that much damage. So I Giga Drain, and I take him out. And I really don't want to be like an ass and just um, sweep his whole team with this guy. Because I could probably just spam Leaf Storms if I really wanted to be an ass. So I switch out, and I'm just hoping he's not going to use a Shell Smash. I bring in my badass. He's my Corefish. He's probably in my top 5 favorite Pokemon ever. There's just something about Corefish. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't know. He just looks awesome. And he uh, uses uh, Shell Smash like I thought. And I'm thinking he's part ice. I don't really know the typings that well, I guess. But he's only water. So this turn, I'm going to go for a Brick Brick. He's going to use Ice Cool, uh, whatever the hell. I wasn't paying attention. And yeah, he gets a crit there. It doesn't really matter because this guy can take hits like a champion. He gets two crits that turn. That actually mattered because I could have done uh, a lot more damage if that didn't happen. So yeah, like I said before, I use Brick Break thinking that he's part ice, but he's not. He's only water. And he's also minus two defense, and I'm like, damn, that did terrible damage. That was like pitiful. What I would like to have done with this guy is set up with Dragon Dance, but I know that I can't set up on Shelter after a Shell Smash. He's doing too much damage to me, and I mean... Yeah, that was just a stupid, stupid choice on my part, going for Brick Break. But whatever. So, I used Fake Out, because that's all Krogan Scooby for. And, uh, he flinches to go for Vacuum Wave. And I think that is enough to KO him, because he's at minus two defense. So, he brings his back out. And... I know he's just gonna spam Drain Punch, because he does not want his Krogunk to die. And right now, I actually just want my Krogunk to die, because I just don't want to go back and forth with Drain Punch and, like, make the battle take, like, an hour. And what I should have done is probably switched into my, um, Abra so we could just die. I really don't know why I didn't do that, because then I could bring this guy out and get, like, I don't know, fake out on him or something. But... Yeah, I just leave him in here to die. Just going for uh, sucker punches now. Just trying to get a little bit of damage, because I do not want to switch anyone out into him. He can kill my Abra. Talo is uh, neutral to him, and he could probably do a good amount of uh, damage to him, because Talo only has like 9 defense. And, I mean, Chillin, he's just... I don't want to bring in Chillin. He's probably going to... I don't know. I just didn't feel like it, so yeah. I think Krogunk dies this turn, finally. Yeah, he definitely dies this turn. So the install is finally over between our Krogunks. And I'm going to bring in my birdie because he's amazing. And yeah, so I... Well, actually, he goes for Sucker Punch, knowing I'm going to attack him, and he's hoping to get the kill. He doesn't, and I go for Brave Bird, because that's all I do. So, yeah, Krogunk's dead. That is the game. 
Uh, my first Little Cub battle, I think it's pretty fun. I don't know. If you guys want me to upload some more, I'll definitely do it. I'm probably going to actually at least upload one more because I really like Little Cup so far. So, yeah, go sub Lord GSO. Like I said before, he's an awesome dude. Great channel. And I just want to thank everybody once again for watching my videos. So, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.